It's been over 40,000 miles with these 37 inch BF Goodrich all-terrain KO2s. And today in this video, I'm gonna give you my overall opinion about these tires. I'm gonna show you how well they've held up and then I'll let you know if I'm gonna stick with these or if I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Stay tuned. Welcome to Trail Recon, I'm Brad, and let me just kick this video off by saying this right up front, this is not a sponsored video. I don't have any relationship with BF Goodrich. I paid full price for these tires, but I want you just to know up front, this is just my opinion and how well these have been holding up for me over the last 40,000 plus miles. So before we dive into that though, let me tell you the specs of these tires. These tires are the BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2s in a 37 by 12.5 R17. They have a load range D and these cost me about $365 per tire. The weight is about 69 pounds and the unmounted overall diameter is 36.5 inches. But with 30 PSI, the full weight of the vehicle and 40,000 miles, they stand just under 35 inches tall now. They originally had a 15 30 seconds tire depth but now they are a little worn out and I'll show you where we're at today and I have put these tires to work over the last 40,000 miles we've been on some long multi-day overlanding trips where I've had the Jeep just fully loaded out we've done some rock crawling on some amazing trails just getting flexy and banging these up against some good rocks we have a lot of desert here in Southern California, so they spent plenty of time in sand. I've been out on the snow a few times. We've been out on some wet trails. I would probably say I've had these just about in every situation. A little bit of mud, but nothing like that Georgia clay you would find out there. But before we talk about how well they have performed in all of those conditions, let me explain a little bit about why I decided to go with an all-terrain versus a mud-terrain tire. I had quite a few folks question my decision to go from a mud terrain to this all-terrain tire. And I'll be honest with you, I had some concerns myself about going with a less aggressive tread. But giving it a lot of thought, I convinced myself that because my Jeep is a daily driver and because I knew we were going to be doing some long trips on the freeway to get to some great, amazing trails, that I wanted something that was gonna be quieter and a little more comfortable on road. And like many of you, I have seen a ton of reviews on these tires and people talking about how well they perform. Plus, I've got some very close friends that run these tires with firsthand knowledge and they said, Brad, you're gonna love them. Well, they were definitely quieter and they were definitely more comfortable, but well, their performance off-road, bear with me. We're gonna to get to that here in a second. Tires are such an important part of the vehicle because it's what makes contact with the ground and allows you to go from point A to point B or get over those, you know, challenging obstacles. But there's so many decisions that you have to make, like, you know, what manufacturer do you go with or what tread design do you go with? All these things that come into play and make the decision-making process a little complicated. I mean, what about size? I started out with a 32-inch tire, then I got a 35 and now a 37-inch tire. And running a 37-inch tire, there's quite a few things that you need to do to manage this weight of the tire, that rotating mass. And I'll leave a link down below on a video I did just talking about that. But to be honest with you, I think the best all around tire for a Jeep Wrangler is a 35 inch tire because really the Jeep supports it well. At least the Rubicon version does well with just a little bit of lift. Uh, but I love the footprint of a 37 inch tire. Weight matters. We talked about weight. You know, these are 69 pounds. The tires I'm getting ready to put on are 75 pounds. I just let the cat out of the bag. Okay, so I'm not sticking with these tires, but yes, the tires I'm putting on here are gonna be a little bit heavier, but there are some tires that weigh up to 90 pounds, and that's just a lot of weight to manage when it's rotating mass. Also, you gotta think about tread. I mean, look, there are some tread designs out there that are so aggressive that you know, you're know you on the road and you come to a stoplight and you can just feel those knobbies on the road and they're loud. Uh, there has been a lot of development in tire technology, so there's some good mud terrains out there now that perform well on the road, uh, but you know what? Having that extra aggressiveness off-road can be very beneficial. Okay, let's get down to the specifics about how well these tires have performed and how well they've held up. Huh, that's kind of a bummer. Sorry, I've lost all my natural sunlight coming in here from the windows. 
Uh, so now it's just fluorescent light. But the stuff I think about when we're filming. Okay, let's talk about tread wear. So these tires uh, have held up really well on the harsh terrain that we've been on. There are no big chunks of rubber missing. Uh, the compound on here is pretty durable. I've never punctured a sidewall. And the overall wear of the tire has been very even. And you know, I got a lot of tread left for a 40,000 mile tire. I mean, there's 930 seconds still left on this thing, which is pretty good. You take a mud terrain tire and put 40,000 miles on it, you're probably not gonna get that much tread life left after that many miles. Now, I have rotated these tires pretty regularly every 5,000 miles, but I've only done a four tire rotation. So if you chose to do a five tire rotation, you'd even get a little bit more life out of these tires. I think I've still got 15 or 20,000 miles left on these tires still. And oftentimes you'll hear people talk about having oversized tires like this and not being able to balance them. And I'll say, as soon as I got these mounted and went down the freeway, boy, it was smooth as silk. No problems at all right out of the box. After about 15,000 miles, uh, I did notice a little bit of shimmy in the steering wheel when we were on the freeway. So I did a tire rotation and that went away. And since then I've had no issues. They're running really smooth. Okay, let me kind of give uh, a little bit of a grade here to everything. So tread life, excellent. These are a long lasting tire. Uh, road noise, almost none. I mean, uh, it is very quiet. It's, you know, I don't need the radio very loud to hear everything. My Jeep, you know, makes more noise than the tires do, the wind blowing over. Uh, comfort, they are very, very comfortable. You know, I've had some knobbies on my tires before and you could just feel them on the road. Uh, these are very comfortable. Performance in the wet terrain uh, is great. Off-road, they're very good in the sand. They don't perform very well in the mud. The tread gets pretty gummed up and the tire gets slick pretty quickly, uh, but they've been well in the snow and they've done a pretty good job when I've been out on the rocks. But there have been a few times where I have wanted a little softer compound to get me over some of those obstacles. So that's why I've decided to make the change. And I'll share with you here in a minute what I'm changing to. But overall, these are a great tire. And I agree with a lot of the reviews out there. One of the best tires you can buy for off-roading. I just personally like to go hit the trails that require a little more, and so that's why I'm swapping these out. Now, I still have these tires on the XJ, my son's XJ, you got 32 inch tires on there, and it's great for him because he spends most of the time commuting to and from school and to and from work. Uh, they came standard on my wife's JL, uh, and they're working great. We were actually off-road just last weekend and had a great time, no problems with the tires. So I think it's a very good tire, but it's time to make the change. So, you ready to see what I got? There's nothing like the aroma of fresh rubber filling up the garage. That's right, guys. I have gone back to the Cooper STT Pros in the same size, a 37, 12.5, 17. You know, I ran these tires in a 35 for a long time, and I was very happy with their off-road performance. Now, these tires are not going to get the tread life that those all-terrains did. And, you know, these knobbies are going to be a little bit noisier. But those are some compromises I'm willing to make because to get back that off-road performance is really what I'm looking for. It's going to be more important than my on-road needs. Now, we've got some big trips coming up here in the very near future where you're going to see these tires in action. Until then, here's a couple other videos I think you'll really enjoy. Click one of those and go check them out. Thanks for watching.